Hi, this is a video about creating welds in SimSolid. I have a model here in Onshape, and you can see that it's a, a sheet metal welded frame, and the welds are represented by these tubes that are, you know, throughout the model. Now, I can convert those tubes automatically to welds and analyze them as SimSolid. Let's, let's see how we do it. So here's my model in Onshape. Now let's come over to SimSolid Desktop and open the same model. And not, let's not do automatic connections at first. Let's go and create um, those, let's, let's convert those tubes into welds. The way I do it is I use this, our weld form. And I have a number of ways to create welds. I can do it by manually by edges, by groups of parts, etc. But I have this one nice automation feature called Welds from Solids. And what Welds from Solids does is it searches through the whole model and it looks for geometry that looks like welds. They can be tubes or they can be little wedges. And it will automatically convert those to a weld of a specified diameter. So let's specify the size as something like 0.12. And we can select the parts to convert. Now I can just select each one individually, but it's probably easier just to control select the whole model. And when I do this, SimSolid looks at the model and says, uh, it looks for parts that could be welds. It says these aren't welds. So I'll say okay. And now you can see that it found other parts it thinks could be welds, including things like the shaft and these wheels. But if I say find welds, it'll go through and says, you know what, that really isn't a weld. And so it gives you a message and you said, if you want to don't show that again, it'll go through and convert all the parts it exceeds to welds. And the ones it can't convert, it'll just mark with this little icon here. So you see what I've done is I've gone through the entire model. All those tubes that were welds have been recognized automatically. And now they've been converted into, into some solid uh, weld uh, connections. So if I say OK, what will happen now, it will suppress those tubes. And I just have I replaced it with weld. So I now have a, a welded frame. In fact, if I want to analyze this, let's do one more thing. We've got to connect these, these wheels. So let's just do that. Let's just come up here, uh, do a group select. And let's just maybe select this these parts here and these parts here. And let's find connections maybe of, give a gap and a penetration tolerance, something like that. And say find connections. So now I'm just connecting up these other parts in the model. Give me a second. Okay. And we can check to see that everything's connected by checks everything looks fine and let's just do a quick modal analysis to see if uh, maybe three modes just to see that everything's connected right and it solves it adaptively three passes pass one two pass two pass three and there the modes are done so let's look at our modes Animate the first flexible mode. Oh, that looks pretty good. Second mode, third mode. Okay, great. Well, so that just shows you how easy it is to create welds from groups of uh, uh, weld entities, weld cat entities in some solid.